Well guys, hello, here we are. We got ourselves a June update ahead of us. Well, of course, uh, made her through the month of May. Pretty much we're into June. As you hear, the birds are singing. The uh, weather's been hot. We've had uh, quite a few days of, uh, you know, plus 27, plus 28. And of course, uh, very little rain. Uh, we were under a fire ban. Of course, the whole province of, of Alberta is still under a fire ban. However, they have, well, lifted it for us here in Lloydminster. Of course, with the recent heat and the little bit of rain we have had, well, our wonderful uh, vegetation has, uh, well, pretty much took off. <laughs> we got uh, grass a-growing, weeds a-growing, and all sorts of things a-growing. Well, um, a few days ago, I did a, a big, big spring cleanup where I picked up all the leaves, cut the grass and stuff. However, due with uh, some of the windy days we have, um, this is all, well, blowing all back in. So it looks like I gotta redo it again, and then what I'm gonna do is probably spray some, uh, you know, weed killer and such. Well, pretty much um, the chunks of concrete are still here from uh, the project I did. I'm not gonna tell you what the project is, but I'm um, sure some of you could probably figure out what it is. We got uh, uh, chunks of concrete with uh, a wire type of uh, mesh rebar in it. Of course, it was a, uh, whatever it was, was a formed um, item. And, uh, well, it stood for probably a good 25 to 30 years. Um, it was hollow, not solid, so that's uh, a good thing. Of course, these are chunks of uh, concrete from an old flower bed that uh, previous owners had uh, kicking around. Of course, um, as you guys seen there when I panned, the shed and the beachcomber trailer is uh, still here. Um, still, of course, I'm kind of on the fence about, uh, well, the trailer, what to do with it, and things like that. Well, of course, uh, being the trailer hasn't moved in a few years, uh, this little corner is starting to get uh, overgrown with uh, various, uh, you know, weeds and trees and stuff. So, one of these days I'm going to have to get in here, move the trailer, and trim all this back just to keep it from, uh, well, overgrowing and getting back to where it was. Well, scrap metal corner is doing okay. You know, um, every once in a while I add something to it, but I haven't really took anything away from it in a long while. Well, been collecting uh, some older things to put in the uh, wall yard, kind of as yard art or yard decoration. And um, I've picked up, as you guys seen a few years ago, the John Deere plow. And, well, I still got the big um, wheels here. You know, they're not wagon wheels. Uh, there's some kind of uh, equipment wheel, like maybe a hay rake or something. They're like uh, 52 inches tall or whatever it is there. So, you know, they are a pretty good height. And they are old school. Um, and I like them just the way they are. I'm not even going to paint them. Well, the old Silverado's doing well. Of course, I have to replace the uh, stereo in it, but um, that's uh, no biggie. I did pick up a stereo on sale. I just have to w wait for the right day to do it. The Marathon trailer's doing uh, well, of course, after the big, big, uh, well, rebuild project. Again, um, that's a bit of a spoiler, but um, it does make for a better update when I do give a few things away. Well, of course, with uh, summer here, you know, planted a few flowers. Um, got a few ornaments and a few things out. You know, kind of getting things kind of at least half presentable for the year. Um, considering uh, doing a flower bed in uh, this here corner, um, if I design it correctly, it won't get in the way of the fence project in an upcoming uh, year or two. And of course, uh, the previous update, of course, had the little shed in it. Well, um, it hasn't fallen down, blown away, or uh, been sold yet. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Well, here comes the part of the project where I'm going to talk about a spoiler, but I will blur it on out. So of course, uh, right here is a, a spoiler. Um, you guys haven't seen the project videos yet. But all I can say is it's a fairly large item. It's um, a semi-expensive item. It took a pretty good chunk out of my budget when you consider my uh, uh, current circumstances. 
but all I can say is it was well worth uh, every penny I spent on her and well get out here you know enjoy the weather enjoy the sun um, all I can say is I should have done this uh, you know 10 years ago so of course um, let's take a tour around the uh, the front yard and of course guys the uh, driveway well you know is getting a little bit overgrown of course got the lilac bushes over here that are going to need a uh, trimming of course um, you know down here um, is always uh, lilac bushes trying to grow through um, pretty much I'm going to have to pull back some of the gravel like I always do and uh, mow this uh, entire section all the way down of course uh, the other day I had uh, an old bicycle and a tricycle dropped off and for the last few days I've been trying to figure out where they came from well apparently a few days ago um, I had messaged a lady about some free uh, propane tanks and of course uh, through the uh, talking stages of course you know how I am um, apparently she has a bunch of stuff at her acreage just various uh, you know things and uh, she said every time she's in town she'll bring some of them in of course I'll probably send her a PM and find out what she has out there because while well, she's moving off her acreage you know if there's a junk pile there could be some nice rusty tin out there or 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 so um, you know that she might have three or four bicycles you know that that her kids have outgrown or or so and um, you know they this one here is an older one it's got steel wheels you know the old style side pull brakes the brake levers but um, if it uh, runs and works and it's not bent then um, you know it's probably like a $25 bike to the right person uh, the tricycle here might be a parked tricycle um, as you see there the back wheels have come detached from the frame so um, I haven't really had a chance to look at her but I might be able to stick a chunk of all thread through that back uh, section there and bolt the wheels to the all thread it'll work temporarily for a little while until the all thread cuts through the uh, plastic wheel well of course um, you know I had the garbage bins uh, up at the front of the Silverado um, pretty much all winter and I'm not sure why I uh, put them there because while well, they were a pain to drag down the driveway so um, I moved them up to the front here and this is probably where they're going to set once the uh, big big fence project comes about you know I will notch the fence in and around them and uh, maybe get artsy fartsy and put a gate there or something just so they're uh, you know half out of sight out of mind yeah. and of course so uh, you know the flowers are doing well with the heat and the, uh, the rain we've had um, however when I mowed the lawn it uh, now looks like it's dead which I guess is um, you know semi normal anyway for this lawn I got some uh, just pretty much flowers in here that are not going to come back uh, next year if um, my plans go the way I want to go uh, some of these you know things will be gone of course out of here um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in uh, last month's update but pretty much you know all this here will uh, be changing may not be able to do it uh, this year in terms of uh, the way my vision is but I'll definitely be able to do the groundwork where I'll pretty much haul all this garbage um, you know away of course in here there's tiger lilies and uh, irises uh, when I started um, whatever it was been three four years ago um, I just had like you know four or five iris plants and I planted them in there well um, now there's like 23 of them in here and uh, apparently they uh, will spread um, quite um, quite well you know as every year I guess they sprout out up another uh, you know two or three so um, I might end up having to split some of these off and uh, transplant them you know elsewhere uh, they seem to be growing well right where they are so um, I might uh, when I do my uh, grand vision up here I might uh, put some you know along this leading edge once uh, this moves on back so uh, that'd be a good way to fill up that uh, dead space every year and then uh, maybe further up you know plant some type of a shady uh, flower or maybe just rock up there or or so right well of course um, I've made a big big change uh, again um, I've uh, changed the uh, name of course of my vlogging channel from the border city vlogger to uh, Maxwell's vlogs 
of course it just ties it on in of course with the Maxwell's World channel and of course um, I uh, pretty much changed um, my uh, main channel's name if you want to say from Studio 780 Productions uh, down to uh, Maxwell's Life Entertainment now of course this is kind of uh, ties uh, everything together again pretty much you know to my two other channels with you know the the main channel um, the fire pit channel I'm probably not gonna end up um, changing however you know because it, it, it's basically a standalone channel but it will be branded with the new um, you know brand right of course guys you know it's been uh, kind of hot and dry um, we've had a little bit of showers uh, here and there but nothing really um, too uh, major for this you know month um, it always rains around fair time which comes up next month so we could have a wet fair time but I guess uh, whatever is whatever is but pretty much guys that concludes our wonderful update for the month of June of our 2015 and as always thanks for watching Maxwell's World comment subscribe and enjoy